Back over the last few months, agricultural cultivation and manufacturing company Kakuzi PLC has been at the heart of allegations on human rights abuses dating back two years. As the victims tell the, of the violence they suffered at the hands of the security guards attached to the firm, Kakuzi maintains that the guards who were involved were already reported to the police and that investigations are still ongoing. Leila Mohammed has that report. <laughs> A father's supplication to the heavens to heal the still raw wounds of loss. His son Joseph Ndongumaina died two years ago, but he often visits his grave to tend to it and pray. His son was in the company of friends and was heading home late in the night from a burial in the neighboring village when they were allegedly accosted by security guards from Kakuzi. His father remembers the moment he learnt of his son's death after 48 hours of a frantic search. Majani. <laughs> Kauna um, the people who we knew were involved to the police and um, the police went through their process and I believe that process is still ongoing. Um, naturally um, anybody who's suspected of anything like that will be terminated from the employment of Kakuzi and that is exactly what happened through a correct disciplinary process. Though he still hurts, his father says his family has tried to move on from those painful events. But what's hard to forget is how the security guards, his son's attackers, shuttle him from hospital to hospital on that cold night. hospitali the family, however, says the company helped them with the burial expenses. They were later paid some money as compensation. Nirango's death has formed part of a legal case filed in the United Kingdom against Kakuzi's parent company in the UK. The case alleges a string of human rights abuses between 2009 to 2020. These claims have piled on the pressure on Kakuzi, with major European supermarket chains pulling out of supply contracts with the company. Tragic death um, really, really hurt us. And we immediately engage with, with the, the father and the, um, and the chief. Back at Ndungo's home, this case playing out in the UK evokes memories that the family would rather stay buried. Since that incident, the company says it has engaged community liaison officers to help the family put it behind them.
I've been interacting with the community and whenever we come across a problem that needs a solution in terms of uh, uh, solving an issue between the community and Kakuzi PLC, we always sit and bring uh, the both parties together and uh, try to meet an amicable solution. Staki ku gea mabo ya yomu toto. Iyo mabo ni memarisa na kakuzi. Staki mabo ya kakuzi na mimi. Nikuwa kampundi iyo. Miaka yao yote ni pepanja kasi yuko. Waka nifuta bila kitu. Nataka wa nilipe iyo pesa yangu. The firm has also had to deal with allegations of sexual abuse touching on its security guards. Both the names of the, of, of, of the, the, the victims and the names of the alleged perpetrators have been withheld from us. And this is a, a, a concern that, as I said, if there are perpetrators out there, they need to be brought before the courts to protect our society. Their guards have also quite recently been accused of attacking and hurting protesters and journalists covering the protests. Journalists, uh, at one incident, um, the guards were taken through a court process and they were dismissed from employment and the courts um, found that um, they were unable to prosecute the, the individuals, but they certainly were not allowed to continue work with, with us. As part of corrective measures, the farm has ensured that 50% of the guards are female. All the guards have also been thoroughly trained on human rights. We have been compelled to bring in technology. And the kind of technology that we have now, look around, we have electric fences. What we saw is that these people are being tripped. When you arrest somebody, then that claim comes up that, okay, this person has been mishandled. So we decided that we use photographic evidence. And then if this person goes away, we hand over the, the evidence to the police and to the local chief. Lila Mohamed, NTV.